So we've talked before about how the Sooner fans need to be excited about this early stage of the Brent Venables era with the Sooners. And when we look at the totality of circumstances, one of the things we talked about on the live streams is it's incredible when you look at how Bob Stoops and Brent Venables were able to save the Sooners from the brink of something that could have been disastrous with the exodus of Lincoln Riley, and especially the spontaneous nature in which he had that exodus. But when you look at what Brent Venables has done, he's masterfully navigated the transfer portal. Even though the Sooners have lost players to the transfer portal, they've been great at going out and identifying guys. And it's one thing to identify, it's another thing to win that battle. But speaking of those battles being won, I want to talk about the recruiting class for the Sooners. Because there's an individual in that class that's an early enrollee that was one of the more intriguing prospects in all of high school football, in my opinion, and he's already turning heads in Norman, and that's Jaron Kanick. So before we break this down, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Why for yes, in for no. Are you excited for Jaron Kanick? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it and if you enjoy the content like and comment down below those interactions really may seem small they're massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the youtube algorithm but with all that being said let's break into this and first and foremost coming out of high school jaron canick was a top two player in the nation coming in at number 157 from hayes kansas he ranked as the number six athlete in the nation while maintaining the number one player in the state of Kansas. So already you're seeing a very talented individual. Getting in a top 300 guy is a mega win. Getting in a top 10 athlete is fantastic and the number one player in the state of Kansas, an absolute win. But the level of intrigue around Kanick doesn't just stop there. And in fact, when you look at what he did in high school, it's something. He played receiver the majority of his high school career, however, he switched to quarterback at the very end, and all he did was put up numbers wherever they put him on the field. Interestingly enough, he will not be playing either of those positions for the Sooners. He's going to be playing linebacker, a position he played some on the defense because, once again, they moved him around just about everywhere they could. And you might be asking yourself, well, why would they do that? Well, first and foremost, if you have a six foot two, 200 pound plus kid who's an absolute chess piece, you'd probably be inclined to move him around the field if you were a head coach as well, creating mismatches wherever he goes and filling gaps on the defensive side to boot. But the level of intrigue around Kanick is furthered when you take into account that he's six foot two, 200 pounds plus, and in the spring of 2021 was clocked in a 100 meter dash at a 10.37. And this wasn't a hand timed, this was a laser timed 100 meter dash in which Kanick hit a 10.37 100 meter. That's blazing fast. And whenever you get that package in that size, that speed, that athleticism, it's no wonder colleges were identifying Kanick and then pushing very hard after him. Because when he was going through the process, Alabama came hard, Clemson came hard, but ultimately it was the Clemson Tigers that won the commitment of Jaron Kanick, and Brent Venables was the major reason for that. Now when Brent Venables ultimately transitioned from Clemson to Oklahoma, Kanick had to sit back and think about his future, ultimately choosing to make that move with Brent Venables. Now with the Oklahoma Sooners, they get in a kid that has great size, great explosiveness, great speed, and according to reports, he's only backed that speed up with a 4-4-40 time that has been clocked in Norman, and he's apparently repping 225 pounds. So why is this all important? Well, the future for Kanick is undoubtedly bright. Nobody in the world is debating that. But whenever you already know that you have an athlete of this caliber coming in and instantly turning heads, it just adds to the excitement. Kanick is going to be an explosive football player for the Oklahoma Sooners, and I'm very excited to see how he's going to develop under Brent Venables under that linebacker position. Because Kanick is going to succeed once he gets to a set position and is able to learn how to play that position. I think he's going to be a quick learner and his athleticism is going to lend itself to success wherever you put him. He just needs to be at a set position to actually learn it. Because 
when he was moved around all through high school, as much success as that lent him in the statistics category, the only downside is, is they never had an opportunity to really hone in and learn that position. The upside of that is, is he has an understanding of how to be successful at multiple areas of the field. So when you're looking at a linebacker that has that knowledge of how to be successful at multiple areas of the field, he can kind of visualize in his mind how to take that and transition what he's being taught in that specific linebacker category, especially when the linebackers of a defense have so much put on their shoulders. But Jaron Kanick is an intriguing individual, an intriguing athlete, and one that we must keep up with. Because under Schmitty, he's undoubtedly going to add mass. And if he can maintain that speed with that mass, man, he's going to be one to watch. And even if he loses a step, when you're running a 10 3 meter dash and you've clocked a 4 4 you can afford to lose a step if you can add 15 more pounds because I guarantee he's still going to be explosive. This is an individual that is going to turn heads. He's going to be of massive importance to the Sooners defense once he gets this position down, once he continues to develop. He can cover a lot for this defense, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for Kanick, a very talented prospect, one of the most interesting prospects in the class of 2022, in my opinion, and that's why I'm so intrigued for what the future holds for him. Hop down into the comments. Please let me know what you think about Kanick. I can imagine Sooner fans have got to be over the moon about what the future holds for this young man. And look, when I was trying to figure out who I was going to highlight, there were a few names that I was thinking about. Kobe McKenzie is a dude at the linebacker position, but y'all know that. I don't need to say that. He's going to be a name a lot of people are watching, but Jaron Kanick is somebody who's caught my eye during this recruiting process, and he's been someone who I've kind of been watching from afar for quite some time because he is an intriguing athlete and one that if he gets a position down could be a dangerous asset to the Oklahoma Sooners. So hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.